Hey guys, so like a lot of electric vehicle owners, when you get an EV, you start to concentrate a little bit more about the energy that goes into it and how much energy you're using in general. Two years ago, we got solar panels put on the house and at that time started to look at whether or not it'd be possible to get a heat pump installed. And um, today we start the uh, journey of installing a heat pump into our house. So this is gonna be part one of our install video and how we get on with it. Um, hopefully that's of interest to some of you. Um, don't worry if you're more interested in our uh, electric vehicle road trips. We've got another one planned uh, later in the summer. We're gonna be going to France and Germany, so tune in for that one. But uh, anyway, back to the heat pump video. So our house is an 1899 built Victorian detached property. It's been uh, double glazed throughout. It's got 300 mil of insulation in the roof. And two years ago, when we had the solar panels put on the property, we had external wall insulation put on two sides of the property. We decided that we weren't gonna install it on the front because it would ruin the aesthetics of the building. And that's something that's very important to us. And the other side of the property we couldn't do at the time because of access issues and generally just cost. It was so expensive, we just ran out of money. So when I started looking into heat pumps, I decided to do my own heat loss calculation just to see what sort of heat loss we were looking at. I used a software called Heat Punk. Um, it's free to use. The website's really quite user-friendly. Got myself a little um, laser measurer and went room by room putting in the details and coming up with uh, what the heat loss I thought the property was um, and then I went about going to get some quotes I got five quotes in total I uh, got one from Octopus Energy got one from um, Eon's company that they recommend which is called CB Heating I got uh, a quote from a company called Renewer Fuel I got a rough quote from um, Heat Geeks and finally, a quote from a company called Aero, who I saw at the fully charged um, Harrogate show um, a few months back. Some quotes were more in detail than others. Some people came out and did a rough heat loss survey, and some were just over the phone. Some were um, me giving them loads of videos and photographs of the property and coming up with a more in detail quote from that. And finally, we went with Octopus Energy, initially so we um, accepted a quote which was £4,776 uh, which was by far the cheapest quote and that was to um, put a heat pump in and replace any radiators necessary. Now unfortunately uh, unlike uh, most people's experiences we had a little bit of a hiccup with the uh, customer service they said that it would take six to eight weeks to do to come out and do a heat loss survey and when I went up to a fully charged show in Harrogate, I kept talking to one of the chaps at the Octopus Energy stand and they seem to have completely lost my um, deposit and the, um, they hadn't scheduled a date or hadn't come back to me, even though I had emailed them bef during that time just to get an update and they were like, oh no, it's fine, we, it's in the process, we'll be with you soon. But no, unfortunately, they lost me. <laughs> but um, but they they realised their mistake very quickly. He uh, was able to um, fast track a heat loss calculation um, visit um, the next week, and they came back after the heat loss calculation. And unfortunately, they were unable to then um, carry out the install because our heat loss was too high. Now. As I said, I'd done my own uh, assessment and thought it would be about eight and a half kilowatts and their calculation was more like 13 and a half kilowatts and the maximum heat pump they installed to is an 11 and a half kilowatts. Now, it turns out the reason that they were uh, factoring in such a high heat loss is because they weren't um, able to factor in uh, pretty much any of the external insulation work that we'd have done because if we have any wall within a room that is uninsulated then they class that room as being completely uninsulated even though our energy bills have dramatically reduced over the last two years since having the external insulation so to not cap factor in any of that um, insulation seems just wrong to me so they just walked away gave us the deposit back and left us back to square one 
So um, I phoned Aira, who um, I got their contact details from uh, at this show. And unlike Octopus Energy, they were able to come out. Actually, within 24 hours, they came out to me um, and were able to do rough calculations, um, taking measurements. It wasn't a full heat loss calculation, but it was kind of a halfway house just to give us a fixed price. They came up with a fixed price, which was six and a half thousand pounds. And we uh, agreed that based on the fact that they had, uh, it was uh, it was the second best price that we'd had. And they um, had certain guarantees such as the price would not increase even if we needed more radiators and the price may even decrease if uh, certain things were uh, over spec So progress another week, we had our heat loss calculation, our full heat loss calculation from Aero and they came back. Um, uh, they uh, spec'd us a 12 kilowatt um, heat pump which is Aero's own heat pump system. At the time, he said that we were close to an eight kilowatt, but we were unable to get uh, close enough to make an eight kilowatt system work. So a, a 12 kilowatt was going to be needed. Unfortunately, that meant that we we're going to need planning permission because it's a slightly larger unit, which meant that we were going to be needing an install uh, around October time. So a bit disappointing. I was hoping that I'd get it well, in, well installed in the summer months before we started to look at putting on heating. But then a week went by and they the heat loss calculations had gone to their technical department and they'd done their full technical uh, assessment and they came back to ask a few more questions about the level of insulation on a few walls that we'd given them. And because we were really, really close to being suitable for an eight kilowatt system and knowing how important it is not to oversize a heat pump, I was, I was doing what I could to try and get, if we could get in heat eight kilowatt, I'd feel much better about that. So I asked them to run the numbers on whether or not a single internal wall of the hall, if that was internally insulated by 25 mil insulated plasterboard, whether or not that would bring the U levels down on that one wall to a point where we would be under the uh, threshold of um, 8,000 watts of heat loss. And they came back to us and said, actually, yes, if we were to internally insulate that wall, we would be fine and they'll be able to install a eight kilowatt unit. So we agreed that um, I would sign to say that it would be my responsibility and that we would um, insulate that one wall uh, before winter comes. And because we did that, they were able to bring forward our install date to today. So I've had to do a few modifications to the house ready for the install. I've had to change the um, utility room, make space for the cylinder in the utility room and make space around all of the radiators that they're going to fit. It, mostly it was the utility room. We had to take out cupboards and cut a work surface down and move around some of the uh, white goods so that we had space for the cylinder. But it was it was a few days work, but um, we, we, thanks to my dad for helping me with that one. And um, that's where we're at as of today. I've helped them a bit this morning when they all arrived, but I will tell you all about that in the next video when I get home and see how they've finished doing their work for the day. So tune in for the next video. See you soon.